beginning of the season, your first season in IndyCar? It's um, definitely not the ideal start to the season with less than a day in the car, but I am super excited, super nervous, um, and just, yeah, so pre we're leaving tomorrow, it's crazy, um, it's going to be one hell of a ride, it's going to be a big year for everybody, and I think that, you know, it's a new team, more or less, mm -hmm. new people, new car, new engine, new drivers, all I can do is judge myself with my teammates, Sebastian Borde, who's won numerous championships, and then uh, move forward from there. But definitely jumping straight into the hot water, I think. So I, I imagine a bit of nerves, but uh, you, you got to have some sort of confidence in yourself and your ability to jump into uh, the series like that, especially, as you say, not being in the car very much. Right. Well, it's not my first rodeo, yeah. <laughs> as they say over here. Yes. Um, I did two years in the Champ Car Series before they merged with IndyCar. So I have some kind of background to fall back on but it's still very new um, so yes I'm confident in my own ability but we have to make sure you know the Penske's, Ganassi's, all those guys they have all their ducks in a row they have every little nut and bolt organized and ready to go and um, we're not there yet so um, we will get there um, it just depends how long that's going to take so yes I have confidence in me the team and everybody around me but it's, uh, it's going to be a process it talk about a lot of people are talking about the different chassis in IndyCar, the Indy, the veteran IndyCar drivers making the change. You coming in brand new. Talk about uh, this car and how it differs from you know what you've driven in the past. Okay. Well, most recently I drove um, the DTM for Audi, so that's a very very different car. That's a different beast. It's like the European version of NASCAR. If you mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Um, but before that, it was Champ Car, and I think these cars are relatively similar to the Champ Car car. I mean, I, I drove it, like I say, for nearly a day in Sebring, and I it was just awesome to be back in a car, back in an open-wheel car that has a bit more power, and uh, I don't have the old Indy car to compare it against, per se, but it feels like a real race car again. Um, it feels like, almost like the Champ Car did, you know, some different nuances and, and whatsoever, but... I'm, uh, I'm excited to actually see when we start developing the car what it can turn into because at the moment you know, we haven't worked on the brakes, we haven't worked on the setup, we haven't worked on this, that and the other. So I think that by the end of the time we finish with it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fast. You prefer open wheel? See, I grew up in the south, which is NASCAR, NASCAR country. So Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, you prefer open wheel? I prefer open wheel. Yeah. Uh, I think the IndyCar series is actually on the up and up at the moment. Um, NASCAR is not something that I was brought up into, you know, um, I'm from England obviously. Mm. So uh, I did do the DTM series, which is similar to NASCAR, but I still feel like I had things to prove in IndyCar. I still feel like my time here, I didn't achieve what I could have achieved. And I want to get to that point where I can look back and say, right, that was it. That was it. That's all I've got. Wherever that takes me, whether it wins championships in the Indy 500 or whether it's P10, you know, all I can do is my very best. And I don't think anybody's seen what I'm capable of yet. So mm -hmm. first, you know, I just want to do that. I haven't seen you on Top Gear yet. <laughs> you haven't? I'm no. a stick. Yeah, you are a stick. <laughs> Aren't we all? Uh. <laughs>